Okay, catching up on some old projects, old business. Getting this Gem Tech Integra squared away uh, with the uh, spring. So if I recall where we're at, I have a, shit, hold on. A Barnes Precision buffer in this. I have to look up and see. I'll put the weight of the buffer in the video. It's heavy. It's a heavy buffer. And I've got a Springco plus 15% recoil or a buffer spring in it. So the blue spring. Um, and so we'll see how this ejects. It's basically running. I just don't know if it's running perfect. The other variable to consider is I'm running this ammo that is... I think about 10% underpowered. So if it's not ejecting exactly, you know, where I would like it to, some of that could be because it's does it's not generating enough force to kick it back far enough, if that makes any sense. Some of you that may not make any sense. Let's see here. Let's let you guys watch the ejection pattern. And I got some other targets on the uh, to my right. Let's take a Just a little offset. Oh. One's getting hot. Let's see how it ejects now. That's about right at three o'clock. That's kind of what I'm thinking. It's damn close. I think of real ammo. I think it's going to eject at 3 or 3.30. So with that Barnes buffer and um, the plus 15% recoil or a buffer spring in it, I think, I think we're pretty much good to go. I'm calling it done.